hello everyone so in our last video we have already covered the definition of binocular single vision and its grades so if you haven't checked it out you may uh, visit uh, through this link okay so today we are going to discuss about physical space visual space and cyclopean eye and also a bit about uh, normal correspondence area so in this slide i want you to see this diagram first so let us divide this into two planes now this one is called physical space having the object which our eye will see aur isko hum log objective space bhi kehte hain because it gives you the location of the physical object okay and this space will be called as the visual space as it comprises our eyes and brain aur is space mein brain images banata hai aur isko hum subjective space bhi kehte hain because in this space we get aware of the presence of physical objects present in the outer environment so now let's look into the theory portion so the physical space is the location and shape of physical objects and also considered as the objective space so we have already discussed it visual space the experience of space by an aware observer it is the subjective counterpart of the space of physical object so in short physical space is nothing but this is our visual field this outside environment which we can see fine and visual space is somewhere in the brain where images are formed okay so cyclopean eye when we used to eyes we seem to see the visual space through some imaginary single eye situated in the head midway between the two eyes to so, cyclopean eye ka concept ye hai ki aisa mana jata hai ki hamari dono aankhon ke beechon beech ek aisi aankh aur present hai jahan image ka formation hota hai aur jahan par single image banti hai बेसिकली साइक्लोपियन आई इमेजिनरी होता है ऐसी कोई आई एग्जिस्ट नहीं करती इन रियालिटी सो इट्स यू नो दिस इमेजेस विच आर फॉर्म्ड आर एक्चुअली परसीव्ड इन द विजुअल कॉर्टिक्स सो देर इज नो सच आई इन द मिडल ऑफ द फॉर हेड फाइन ओके नाउ is it not interesting that we have two retinas yet we produce just a single image ye kaise possible hota hai it because of the presence of corresponding points in our retinas corresponding means what equivalent right so hamare retina mein jo points stimulate hoti hain usi ka corresponding point dusre retina mein bhi hota hai okay so see these line retinal correspondence is called normal when both the fovea have common visual direction and the retinal elements nasal to the fovea in one eye corresponds to the temporal to the fovea in another eye so what happens both the retina have their equivalent points in their respective retina now which gets stimulated when light rays falls onto it okay the fovea ka corresponding point will be fovea of another retina and the thing which we have to keep in mind is that agar ek eye ke fovea ke temporal wala side stimulate hota hai to dusri eye ka usi same time pe fovea ka nasal side wala area stimulate hoga theek hai ek bar ye diagram dekhte hain so look at this point x this point x has stimulated the foveas of both the retina right and this y has stimulated its nasal side जबकि दूसरी आंख में टेम्पोरल साइड वाला पॉइंट स्टूमुलेट हुआ है नाउ ऑब्जर्व दिस जेड वन इट हैज स्टूमुलेटेड द टेम्पोरल साइड हेयर एंड नेजल साइड इन दिस आई ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ इट हमको सिर्फ सिंगल इमेज ही दिखेगा नाउ वट विल हैपन इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग पॉइंट पॉइंट विच आर नॉन करस्पॉन्डिंग गेट स्टूमुलेटेड विल इमेजेस बी फॉर्म्ड यस so let me uh, clear this by giving you one example every one of us know ki we use he for boy means we are talking about the pronoun he so pronoun he for boy and pronoun she for girl now if i say sachin is a boy and she plays good cricket 
सो इज इट अ गुड सेंटेंस नो बिकॉज बॉय की करस्पॉन्डिंग प्रोनाउन ही होता है सो दो आई हैव मेड अ सेंटेंस बट दैट्स नॉट द गुड वन Similarly, if non-corresponding points get stimulated, images will be formed, but that will not be the good one. Images will be blurred or double image बनेगी, and it will cause barrier in binocular single vision, as you must have seen in case of squint also.